Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a, a beautiful day because we're here. <laughs> I'm Ros Boundy, Psychic Medium, bringing you the Daily Lenham and Card Spread reading. And it is a little overcast outside, but it's still a beautiful day. We have clouds, intermittent sunshine, blue sky behind, in patches. <laughs> so that's sort of the day it is. I think it's expected to be about 20 Celsius, that is, for those who are on the other side of the world. Now, let's go across to the cards because that's what we're here for, the cards. And we'll see what the message is that they've got for us. <clears throat> right, tune into your spirit guides as we're going through this. And I nearly forgot the owl card. Let's grab that. <clears throat> we'll do the owl card first since I realised it's not there. <laughs> With love. And that's the simplest message of all, isn't it? With our beautiful heart space with love. Beautiful. Okay. What we've got, and I didn't quite line them up well, did I? Uh, let me just go across there like that, just a little bit further. Gilda Brevery Lenneman deck. Chira Marchetti is the artist, and we have the expanded edition. And the gorgeous cards themselves very interesting with what the ring is flanked with with the cross and the snake so let's just go in closer and I shall do the interpretation certainly remember this is a general card spread reading it's not the be all and end all we do need to take notice of what other things may be happening around our our environment and in our lives not just go by the cards and all the rest Sometimes a little bit of common sense taps into that because our common sense comes from spirit guides anyway. So let's just have a look. Now the main theme is the ring card. We've got that one in the center. I don't know how that one snuck over there like that. I must have brushed it. We could see all of the card. Right, the ring card in the center is about that that is the general theme, the main theme, that dominant theme that we've got in our day today. We've got the cross in the home space and the snake in the workspace. So with the ring as that general theme, it is the moving through the cycle that we're currently in at the moment and really taking in what is, you know, that intuitive next step because we don't actually, in a, in a circle, in a ring, you don't really have anything that's a definitive next step. It really is that that is our intuition guiding us, that that is going to take us through by that um, trust because we've got a trust card next to us, right? So we're going to find the gems in the day, the, the really um, light shining moment, have an openness for that, that we do find it, that we do see it, that it is us shining that out any of those types of things that we're going to see with that. And good morning, Michaela. I can see you with me in the live stream chat. Thank you for putting your wonderful comment. Morning, lovely. Good. So it's lovely to acknowledge those who are here. Even those who are watching in replay as well, don't forget. It is always here as replay. And for those who are in the Instagram and those who are in the YouTube or the LinkedIn, Many places to watch if you so desire. And watch the replay. <laughs> they don't go away. The only one that does is Instagram. For some reason, they don't leave it sitting in the in an easy-to-find place. I haven't found it anyway. Okay, back to this. It is that, that cycle of how we are living our life, what we are doing at the current moment, and the promises or the vows or the contracts or anything that we might have that we've given a commitment to because the ring generally is a symbol of some form of commitment. So today, focus on that commitment as the underlying current through what we are doing, each and every step of the way, in whatever form those steps are coming for you or are being for you. Because a circle, a cycle, anything like that really doesn't have steps, it's a process. Just continue forward. Okay, so lovely, lovely energies with that because that gem that's in the center can be anything you want and how you shine your light out from that or see the light in others as well. Okay, 
in our home space what we have the cross it can sometimes mean the burdens that we take on that are too much responsibility that we're needing to and this is where the discernment and trust comes in some of what we think that we are needing and having to do are not actually ours they're not our responsibility and what we're needing to do is have that commu co communication co um, co context con content there, there's a c word that's there that is giving giving us that context or that um, confirmation with our spirit guides i think it's confirmed for yourself whether it is your task or not your responsibility or not whether you need to let whoever in your family because this is in the home space our family most particularly can be some of the friends close to us that we allow in that family circle as such so bring that to mind as you're interacting with each other that some of what you have taken up as the chores or the tasks or the duties or you know thing, things that need to be done it does feel to me like it's specifically things that needing to be done are not yours to do give it back to whoever is meant to be the person to own that particular task duty responsibility not everything is yours to take on your shoulders okay so let it go that's the main message i am getting when you feel in those situations be guided by your spirit guides your instinct your gut instinct if you call it that um, be guided by that trust that that it's not for you to do everything and sometimes it doesn't hurt to actually ask for help because this can be the symbol of that in that communication with uh, I mean typically it's the religious symbol of uh, interaction with Christ and the religious symbols um, religious connections but feel into your own spirituality in how you want to connect with the spirit world the that that is the bigger picture so to speak so um, ask for help when you need it too so it's not just about letting it go but also asking for help and that can be in that discernment of is it mine or not that just a simple question is this mine if it's not give it back to whoever it's meant to be for okay so i do feel that that's an important part of today and that's that in some sense it's the promise to you to be who you are to the best that you can be to shine out your light in this day that is today the ring symbol symbolism of of this that's uh, you know <sighs> it is connection with that inner self it is knowing the who you are getting to know who you are even more deeply that's what i'm feeling there as we're going into our workspace i am feeling this is the bit of a warning of someone that is coming to uh, take i do feel it is a taking situation someone's taking i'm not sure if it's responsibility i'm feeling that c word of credit taking credit for something you've done that you are doing that you have created that you have a strong influence for or with as part of your work and someone else is trying to take the credit or or nick an idea that's going to be very fruitful i think protect your space don't give over too many uh bits of information what i'm feeling here is holding your cards close to your chest so that it's not all revealed to everybody uh, in one hit type of thing uh, only to those who it's needed to be revealed to and then you know that that fruitfulness will gain its momentum as the natural way of things happen especially with nature you let it go and it grows doesn't it you give it the right nourishment and it grows give it all of the right things and it grows the same as your ideas and your skills will grow and uh, prosper the the business the workspace whatever you're working on so but i have this bit of a warning to take note of those around you who may be trying to sneak in and you know nick ideas that type of thing um so don't be open about everything to everyone type of thing have that awareness be discerning discerning for me today does feel like it's a big 
component of what we're needing to be aware of. You know, awareness is one thing. Discerning is that sense of knowing which way to analyze, judge, um, you know, not to be judgmental, but discerning is that little nuance of being able to tell the which way or other to decide things, um, to see the perspectives of things, you know, you, you're going around all angles, you know, whether it's the left, the right, the, the front, the back, all of that sort of stuff in my mind. Um, I, I'm feeling that full cycle of looking in all places too, just seeing that gorgeous glow, you know, because a ring doesn't sparkle, you know, the gems don't sparkle unless they've got the sun to shine on it type of thing, to, to twinkle that light within. And I think that's where we're going to have to look, you know, past the shadows, look into the shadows to see the light shining through, that type of thing. That's just a phrase that came to mind. So deal with that as you feel you need to. How are you receiving that? What's happening in your life that is uh, that, that part of the, the, the phrase? See, I've already forgotten what it is I've said. So you need to take in, in those little instances of um, being shown the messages what it does mean for you okay it can be that quick and fleeting but uh, you know take note just take note if there's anything you're needing to do on that act on it and do what you need to okay so it's an intriguing and interesting spread this morning so I really feel that things are going to shine out beautifully brightly and with that gorgeous sparkle of the jewel that might be the diamond or it might be a ruby or an emerald or whatever you desire as, as that gem but the light is going to refract in whatever way it's cut so make sure that how you are cutting your gems how you are shining out your light really is going to sparkle the best of what and who you can be okay that's what I'm getting from this so trust that inner self that gut feeling in both avenues of the home and the workspace okay so a very interesting set of cards this morning the spread is very interesting spend a little bit of time to have a look at it for yourself and see where it, what parts of your day that you know may be planned that are going to influence or be influenced by that and open your eyes to what else is around you as you're moving through those time slots. <laughs> Good morning Sarah, <laughs> lovely to see you this morning as well. Yes you've just come in as I'm about to finish so the replay it is there wonderful um, technology we have to enable that so good morning to you as well Keza and I suppose you're going to need to watch a replay as well I am trying to get more to back to the 8 a.m. Adelaide time so that it does allow more of you to watch before you head off to work and that type of thing for those who are the nine to fivers type really uh, the sun is uh, shining well shining the light is earlier and earlier of course the more we get towards the, the mid spring and then to summer etc our days are lengthening so I wake up earlier naturally now more naturally so it's lovely to be able to be in here to offer these back towards the eight so thank you from Michaela and thank you for being here live as well and I love the emojis thank you thank you and for any who I've missed that don't show up in the comments, it's either because I've already clicked that end button or because Facebook or wherever doesn't show it on the screen for me to put on my screen. So there you go. Great technology, but there's certainly some ways that it could really be absolutely pizzazzed. I don't know it because we've got to have it from the other end, other side, don't we, to be able to show it. Thank you for being here. Keep being the best you that you can be. Uh, until tomorrow, another day is in the offing. Namaste.